Okay, so today we're going to be testing out the Blight Serum add-on for Nurse, and we're going to see where it fits in the overall add-on tier list for Nurse as a whole. So we're going to be using the build that you see on screen right now, which is my basic pub build that I recommend to people when they come in asking me for pub builds, plus my green recharge, one of the best add-ons for Nurse in my opinion plus the Blight Serum. We're also going to go to Coldwind because it's one of the bigger maps and I think it will give more value to the Blight Serum. And we'll see how this add-on will do in a pub game and then we're going to rank it in the add-on tier list at the end of the video. So we're really testing out how good the Blight Serum add-on is in relation to the other add-ons for Nurse. Is it good? Is it high tier? Is it low tier? We'll play this game and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we actually loaded in on one of the harder maps for Nurse in the Rotten Fields. So this will be interesting. So anyway, using our Blight Serum to get across the map and try and get as much pressure on the survivors as early as possible. I'm going to assume that they've spawned in and around this far gen, just because that is how survivor spawns tend to work, especially on a big map like this, and I wasn't wrong. We're going to try and aim around this hook here. They crouch. I'm surprised that doesn't hit on the lorry there, but that's fine. We're going to really have to attest to our corn vision here. I did actually make a video on how to play in corn recently. Which is on the channel. Maybe this will be a better game. To showcase what I actually do when I play on corn maps. Lori going for the pallet storm, not bad. This Lori isn't bad whatsoever. She's kinda doing some weird movement. They got a gen done already, okay. So this might be a more difficult game. We instantly get two infectious procs, but I'm just going to pick up here to get my basement hook. It makes the most sense for me. I see here someone behind me. Actually, because this person's fucking around right here and there's another person right here, I don't feel the need. He's literally right behind me. Easy grab early on because the Felix wanted to be cocky. They're giving me so much pressure here for absolutely no reason. But I'll take it. Nice dead hard from the leg. I should just drop. This is actually fine with me. I can probably use the Blight Serum to get it down. He was kind of weirded out, I assume, by that. Because he don't think he reacted at all. Not bad from the Adam. I managed to see him last second there by the shaking at the top of the corn. Okay. Calm. That's the Adam. Nice. Okay, so we can hook this back here and then we can see who, where we have the other two on our barbecue. They got a nice little free gem pop there, but then we got quite a lot of pressure in not a long amount of time. Actually forgot I had the Blight Serum add on there. He's taking a hit. He's going to pick up the Adam. I guess his key's fucked up or something, or the Adam was holding sprint. It's unlucky for the Felix. Okay, let's see where we can see. I believe it's a Meg. Or, no, it's the Lorry that we don't know where they are. Okay, so they went for save. We can get over here quickly with the Blight Serum. Where do they go? Nice. I actually expected her to camp the pallet there, or to try and make a pallet play. That's why I blinked closer on into the pallet, but... Not bad from the Meg, being a lobbyist. See the lorry. Calm, nice hit. Is she gonna go for save? I believe she is. Damn, I meant to hit the lorry there. Got the Adam. Okay, we'll go for Meg if she wants to be hit so badly. I don't see the point in that. But sure. Nice from the lorry. Again, lorry's not bad whatsoever. I don't know what the Adam is doing. So I assume the lorry's left. I assume this is the lorry. Yep, I was wrong. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, nice. Uh, one of them had unbreakable. I think that's the Adam. I'm not sure. Because we know there's a survivor here, confirmed, or there was a survivor here. So that means they must have picked themselves up. I'm not sure where this survivor went. It was right here. Okay, Felix being a little bit boosted with that Valor drop, but it's okay. Now I'm swinging a whiff. Felix a little bit of a double UK player. I see that. It's my left right now. I can hear him. Goes into the jungle gym. We'll go for a bit of a prediction here. Damn, his pathing is so fucking weird. Can we get it down here, though? Nice. Okay, we can get another hook, another pop, which we haven't actually used any yet. And our Blight Serum. We're just holding so much pressure that we don't actually need to use that pop at all. We can speed back over to the area they're healing with our Blight Serum. And then we can quickly use our two blinks. See, this should actually help us get there before they can heal. 
that's good for us. So the lorry's still injured. So if we could try and down her and reset all of our healing progress, so that would actually be really good for us. Okay, the lorry hasn't left the area either. Nice down on the Adam. We can go for the lorry straight away. If nothing else, just to reset our healing progress to zero. Nice. Caught her last second there. Okay, let's put the lorry on the hook. Does she have DS? No DS. Perfect. Okay. I don't see anybody off of barbecues. So we're going to go back and hook this Adam. Okay, I see one survivor in the distance. The only survivor I see. I see the Meg now. So we know that there's nobody in range for save. That was pretty obvious that the Meg would double back there. Because Shaq, again, such a shit area for the survivors to run. Nice double back. Nice dead hard, too. That's calm. We can still go for that. But she path. Okay, she path around Shaq. That's calm. The Meg a little bit indecisive there, holding the corner. We know that the other survivor was back here, behind Shaq. So if I can spam up a basement hook, we could check barbecue. If he gets saved, then we know two survivors are there, obviously. There's no way this guy can get off hook now since he's in stage two. So we have our blighted rush up. Perfect, he's saved. So we can try and zoom over there with the blight serum. Megan let go on hook. Which is understandable, one gen done. With this much pressure. It's not looking like, him, not looking like they're gonna get out of this game. Where in the fuck, was that a pebble? Okay, I have no idea where this survivor is at all. Okay, we heard the Adam there. Okay, do you have the S Adam? Was that a big brain play? It actually was. Humongous brain Adam, I like it. And for a blind though, kind of stupid. Okay, we'll waste his entire flashlight. That's what he wants. What? I don't know if that was a dead hard. I don't know if that's, I don't know what the fuck that was at all. That's either a dead heart or that's an extremely busted pallet hitbox, but sure, we won't complain. Okay, let's see if we can see the last survivor on our barbecue at all. Okay, he's over there in the distance, self carrying, you see that? Okay, so we can go over and put some pressure on him. I still don't think we make enough distance to him in the two blinks. It'll be close, but not quite enough. I imagine he abandoned self carrying by now. Might have even went into that locker. He was right here. Oh, nice. He got hatched. So that's GG. To be honest, the Blight Serum, actually not bad at all. It closed down a lot of distance and allowed us to get to where we have to go in two links. Really not a bad add-on for the nurse. Not, not a bad game at all, considering it's one of the nurse's worst maps. Okay, so after playing that game, considering it was on Rotten Fields, one of the harder maps for nurse, and tying in how much value I actually got out of the Blight Serum add-on, it allowed me to travel the map a lot faster, so I think it's not a bad add-on at all for the more open the more open area in the bigger maps. So I think Rottenfield is actually one of the better maps for this add-on on Nurse. It actually allowed me to get across the map a lot quicker, especially after I've hooked, which is where you want the most mobility. It wasn't bad at all. It actually made me creep up on survivors a lot more because they don't actually hear the Nurse screech, but I'm actually traveling quite a lot of distance because as they know, Nurse is one of the slower characters. I would have to put this add-on, I think, it would be around high B tier or low A tier. I don't think it was a bad add-on at all. I think it kind of confused the survivors in which location I was because I seemed to be traveling quickly. We managed to get a hit on it because I think, again, I think it confused the survivors when they just see a nurse sprinting towards them at a million percent speed considering she's such a slow character normally. I think it, uh, it enabled us to traverse the map more. I think it made us, helped us put on pressure after we hooked and uh, get to the barbecue procs quicker. I think on Rottenfield specifically, or the map that we played on just then, I think it actually worked out really well. I think it was a really good add-on and was actually really useful. So I think I would put it in the high B tier or the low A tier. I think it actually was a good add-on and it's actually pretty useful on Nurse, to be honest. Whether you disagree or agree with my opinion, please let me know in the comments and we can have a discussion about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you could scroll down and check if you are subscribed, I really appreciate it. If you want to unsubscribe later, you always can. It's free. Really do appreciate the support. I hope you have a great rest of your days and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.